Last year I had the idea of starting my own golf apparel brand. I knew this wasn't going to be easy, but after many hours of thinking and contemplating of what to call it, I said what's going to stand out compared to all the other brands and what's going to be more fun? You guys have actually seen it before. It was right in front of your eyes the whole time, boys. Thanks for following along. Good morning, boys. Let's see what we got, boys. Sandbagger Golf Company. All right, guys, Sandbagger Golf Company is now live. We're about to stand out for the whole world, guys, the whole golf community. It's finally cool to see it come to life. Really love it if you guys just went and checked it out. Here's the website link. I'll put it in the description below. Honestly, I would not recommend anything to you guys if I personally did not like it. Look at that. Look at that. That's SLD, as we say. Swag overdose, boys. Oh, that is clean. Also got the cactus one. Now, this is a pre-order sale. So what does that mean? That means it's going to take a few weeks to ship out. I have to get it in to my office and then I'll ship it out to you guys this is a limited edition never gonna have this again guys so you might want to go get it while you can post it on Instagram I'll tag you guys go follow that also I'll put it right here they're gonna be like what is that shirt what is that hat sandbagger what the heck now let's go see the second round of the Georgia Open day two if you guys didn't see the last video I shot two over first day Today I tee off in the afternoon wave. It's already backed up to 250. I was originally at 1250, but now it's 250. Seems like a beautiful day right now. May not be like that this afternoon, but hey, you never know with the weather. I am currently at Way Station. You can't even see that. See what this coffee's about in this local town in Richmond Hill. You guys don't subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, boys. We are growing like a freaking weed right now, boys. Coffee taste test, here we go. pretty good about to hop on a brand meeting guys i really want to thank you guys for subscribing because i mean i never thought i'd be doing this it's a lot more pressure on me but and i felt like i've gotten better at golf since i've gotten on youtube which is crazy please lord please let this be like all day here we are all right guys it's a muggy one probably delayed already this beauty today look at the spanish moss on the trees that's why we're here no golf today, boys. They called it. So I guess we're just chilling for the rest of the day. A lot of footage for you guys today. I'm not going to lie. Can't blame the course for calling it. But we'll be out here tomorrow morning. It's going to be a long day tomorrow. So stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Day three. Round two. Kind of glad that we didn't have to stop and start, stop and start yesterday. Fired up this morning. Will Smith got me fired up. Now don't y'all never tell me that you can't do something. It's about time to get that shot by shot. Do it for the boys. Make that cut. Have fun on the weekend. Get that low am. Smash that like button. Smash every button. Boys, you see that? So the adventure begins, boys. So the adventure begins of the second round. Here we go. You already know I got coffee in hand. <sighs> Nothing beats that. Third day, second round. Let's just get into it. All right, this is the 10th tee box. I actually teed off on hole 10 for my first hole. See my parents in the background right there. Oh, mom with a little photo. I'd love to see that. All right. Hit a nice first good tee ball right down the middle. Had about a 52 degree here, about 100 yards. Nice sawed off 52 degree. For some reason I was pulling this club all week. All right, so they cut the greens in between the rounds. So these things were zooming 30 feet down the hill. Pretty good first putt. Good lag. Good lag. 
All righty, on to 11. Good tee ball, right down the middle. That fade was working, boys. The fade was absolutely just working, boys. Five wood layup. Actually, went a lot further than I thought it was gonna go. Ended up being right next to the green. And so I was in between a 60 and a 52 for chipping it. So I decided to go with the 52 here to let it run a little bit more. As you see, it, it did. See, look, caught a little speed right there in that gap. That was actually a really good shot, not, not gonna lie. I was really lick, licking my chops right here, boys. Six footer. Oh, mm. I was just trying to stay composed. Didn't want to get too high, didn't want to get too low in emotions. Part three. Hit about a pitching wedge, kind of scolded it, not even gonna lie. And there it is on the left side. Actually ended up decent. Had about a 15 footer here. Really was trying to make this one. A little extra speed on it. Too high. It's a nice little par. Nice butter cut off the tee on this par four. Now you can tell I have a weird little lie there. And I was hitting a four iron into this green and I knew it wasn't gonna really go as far. So I ended up on the right side of this green, had about a 45 footer here. It's really, really good test of my lag putting. And kind of misread it. Needed this one for par. Got it, that was, that was a good putt. Good putt. Oh, the parents are they're back in there. <laughs> Another good drive. This is the hole I birdied in the first round in the pouring rain. Had another 52 degree, pulled it again. It was really frustrating. I was very frustrated at that shot. Had a 45 footer through the fringe, decided to putt it. Thought I could judge the speed a little bit better. A little clap from Francisco, Francisco right there. Francisco was a really cool guy. I really liked Francisco. Great guy. If you're watching this, Francisco, hey. <laughs> All right, here we go. Another butter fade. Another butter fade, man. It was just, it was working. Another four iron. As you can tell, I had a lot of long irons in this course. Uh, 45 footer up the hill, into the grain, then back down the hill, down grain right there, you can see it. And I thought it was gonna go, she didn't go. Straight down the hill, straight down grain. Oh, did I just walk that in? Oof. Don't get too happy, Luke. <laughs> Another butter fade down the middle. You can see how tore up that grass got in the first round. Hit a five wood layup. Hit it good. Had a 52 degree here again. And what do you expect? I pulled it long and left. I was like, oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me, man. Ah, frustrating. This will a fast putt. Look at it. No, it's not getting there, is it? Oh, it got there. It got there. And there it goes. So this is the first big test I kinda had, about four to five feet here. Hmm. That was not what I wanted. Bogey in the par five. All right, had a four iron there, par three. Tried to knock it down a little bit. Left myself in the worst place you could have left it. Short-sided, terrible eye. Huge swing for 
such a small shot. That was a pretty, pretty saucy shot, not gonna lie. Another good putt, another walk in. Look at that clubhouse. That looks pretty sweet. 18, par four, long par four. Five wood in hand, knocked down five wood. Had to lay off a little bit. Hit a pretty good shot. To right here, not bad for a par four. You can hear, I said, holy cow. Look at that, look at the grain. I knew I needed this putt. This would huge momentum build if I make this. Oof, I knew that was big. Just for confidence, honestly, if anything. Good ball, hit it right down the middle again. I really like this shot. I thought it was right on it, but it just came up a little short. 20 footer, I really wanted to make a birdie here. So I gave it a little extra run and just missed it. Didn't leave myself the easiest putt four feet down the hill. Now that was a pretty early walk in. Man, I was walking them in, what the heck? I wasn't even trying it, I guess it was just happening. Butter cut again. Four iron, I remember this shot. This was a tucked left pin, four iron. I was just trying to hit the middle of the green. Hit a really good shot up in there. At about 15 feet. Oof, that was a good putt, good putt. That was a par. So what am I, I'm still one over, one over. Nice buttery fade. It's really nice when you can hit that type of shot. This is a layup right here. Because you just know where it's going. I got it. This is a 52 again. I pulled it again. Got lucky here. Now look at this putt. It comes off super hot and then it, you see that? It just hit like a brick wall. And I was amazed myself, I'm not gonna lie. Four feet down the hill. Really thought it was in, not gonna lie. Look, and I was like, I just stopped? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, birdie this hole in the first round. I was feeling good on it in the second round. Very accessible pin. Kind of liked it, look at that. You can tell by my hands. Hit it tight in there, about three and a half, four feet. Drain up. Good putt. So we're back to one over after that bogey on the par five. Nice buttery cut. Knocked down nine iron, remember that one. Just fed it in there, Had about a 20 footer, about 15. Started raining again, that's exciting. And a par. You know, I really wasn't upset about pars. So I had this, this is one of the hardest holes, I think. Six, you really have to shape your shots. I hit it pretty good. I had a six iron into this hole. It was bleeding right on me. I needed a generous kick and I got the generous kick and it fed right to the hole. Tap in birdie. Got me back to even par. Well, thumbs up, boys. Thumbs up for the boys. <laughs> Seven. You guys already saw what happened in the first round. Oof, that was tough. And another tough shot into the green. Decided just to nuke one. And at least get it over the stuff that I hit it in the first round. So I hit that chip up there. Not bad. About five feet. Breaker right to left. Another walk in. This was the point to where I was like, I'm making a ton of putts and it felt really good. So I'm still even par. I think I had a three iron up to this point about 50 something feet, maybe more. And that was a good lag. 
Nice little tap in here for par. Even par going in nine. My last hole for the second round. The cut at this time, I didn't know what it was at. I knew two over would definitely be good enough. Hit the cut down there onto the right rough. It's actually a pretty good lay right there. Five wood layup, pin it into a perfect spot. 55 yards, tucked pin in the front. Try to get cute. Chunk. Terrible lie, even worse lie on this shot. Chunk. I was like, what is going on? I really had to stop. And I was, ooh. So bunker shot, rolls out. This is for bogey. I was like, all right, let's just get this bogey and get this round over with. Yeah, lipper. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was not the, uh, the funnest hole there, but uh, a solid round is none the least. And then that last hole when I had a few bad shots. So that's always exciting. I was so pissed after that hole that I really couldn't even video. And I was just, I was very frustrated in myself. And this will be the outro right here, boys. Go check out sandbaggergolfco.com. Limited time only, boys. So go get that, boys. Come on. Two over again. Not what we wanted on that last hole. Good grief. We're on to the weekend. Well, it started the weekend, but we're on to the next two rounds. It's all fun and games now, boys. Thanks for sticking around. About to get to the third round in about an hour or so. Still gotta get fired up for the bull. Well, here we go. Come on.